So, uh, simply sitting there is not working for you. You can create a more active process. Why so many s ways of doing things are set up is, even the same person, an individual person, may not be the same level of receptivity and openness every day of his life. So there is a chant, there is silence, there is sadhana, there is various other kinds of things. At least these three things if you take, there is a guru puja, there is a simple chant, or simply sitting silently, or sadhana. Any one of those things you do, it'll work. If you… and don't try to feel presence, you'll end up imagining things. The important thing is not whether I am present or not, that you are present. So if you sit in one place, most of the time you're not present in that place, you wander the whole cosmos. <laughs> so the best thing is, if your mind is in such a state, to chant or to do some sadhana or to do the guru puja, so that you are present. If you are present, I am present, always. I haven't failed yet. Even if I leave my body, I'll be still present. So you have to be present, that's the most important thing. The presence, there's no problem with my presence, it is your presence which is required. Somebody else cannot say, yes ma'am, when your name is called out. <laughs> so it is you who has to be present. Whatever works for you, you be present that way. You can't be present without activity. Use activity. Okay, do the presence time, your Guru Puja time. You do that for you, that's the solution. You must understand this is about you being present. You being present to another dimension of reality. Me, am I present? I am. Because presence is not a geographical thing. Sadhguru, are you present in my house? I will lock all my doors, will you break the doors and come? Why don't you at least leave your doors open? <laughs> Why should I break the… force the door open like a burglar and come? Burglar anyway doesn't force, he slips in like a bandit. Why? Why don't you leave the door open and sit? It's about you being present. Right now, you are scattered all over the place. So if you cannot simply be present, use activity to be present. Guru Puja is an activity. Or if the time and place is such that you cannot do the Guru Puja, at least chant. That is also a kind of activity, a milder activity. It's fine. Simply sitting and being present takes a certain… generally either takes a lot of preparation or takes an external force. Most people, when they come to the first day inner engineering program, first thing they say is, three hours, I cannot sit. So we made it three and a quarter hours <laughs> because they th people said they can't sit for three hours. I thought there must be some taboo, thirteen and three and whatever, so I said, three and a quarter make it. Sadhguru, Americans cannot sit with three and a quarter hours, all our teachers and others advising me. I said, it's okay, three and a quarter hours, they will sit. Only first day they were struggling, from second day onwards, almost everybody sat except people who have some medical problems, that's okay. Because if you create something overwhelming, then they will sit because they don't know time anymore, they don't think in time. And time and space and the size of the bladder, everything you're making up, that's what he was saying. <laughs> He's making up… you're making up everything, it's your concept of life. So, now presence, you don't worry about me, it's about you being present. I am very present, always. 
Sadhguru, but my 6.20 Detroit time, you may be sleeping. You don't worry, I'm present. Even if I'm dead, I'm still present <laughs>